Hey everyone, this is Stacy with SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. And I want to just give you a brief overview of a new module I have available for our painting professionals. When you uh, produce a painting estimate, and you know our goal is to make sure that everything that you do is very technical and, and presented in a way so you can show the general contractor or the homeowner you actually know what you're doing and the numbers are clear and so that's what we do and so in this video I'm going to go over uh, the takeoff how you uh, produce the takeoff and then how you present that information in terms of paint when we produce our painting estimate we we break it down in, in two areas the first area is all of the labor the second is all of the material involved and so the only way to determine the labor is to have an accurate source for which you know how long it takes, you know, to paint a square foot of wall, of ceiling, of trim. Okay, and so that's what we're going over right now. So if this interests you, make sure you subscribe, join, like, take a class. If you are a minority-owned, woman-owned, veteran-owned, Business in March, we are having our uh, certification workshops and we're gonna show you what you need to do to be certified. And why you wanna be certified is that you're guaranteed, uh, sometimes you don't even have to bid for the projects. And you know, you gotta know what you're doing, you gotta be qualified, but yeah, when you have those certifications, it gives you a leg up. Some people in this country just had a leg up because they think they should, well, as minorities, as women, as veterans, as disabled veterans, if you have an office in a community that is an underserved community, you can get a certification for that as well and be popped up to the front of the line. So let's talk about painting takeoff. So what we're looking at right here, oh, we're not looking at it yet. <laughs> now we will. All right, now we're looking at, this is a, uh, repair facility for vehicles and so when you are uh, completing a painting takeoff there there are two ways you want to or you can uh, look at it you can look at the room schedule on the room schedule it's going to tell you all the finishes and so if it's paint it's going to be very clear and PT1, PT2, there'll be a schedule telling you which all of these things are in very good detail. That's one way to do it. So you know that the lobby and they break the walls down into four walls because maybe some walls not the same color as the other. Okay. So A, B, C, D wall and then the ceiling. Okay. So that's what you're looking for if you use the room schedule. I like, I prefer, or, or a good set of plans is going to give you interior elevation and from the interior elevations you can just produce your numbers and a good set of plans is going to give you an interior elevation for each of the rooms so that way you'll know the finish pt6 you know what parts not painted and so for painting you'll assume that the walls are being painted the ceilings being painted uh, doors are being painted and door frames have to check very carefully and I never included I excluded window framing if that's being painted but you can look at the specifications and sometimes you know HVAC is being painted uh, pipe is being painted and so that's why it's always important to look in the specifications first no matter what your trade look in the finishes paints a finish and so you look in the finishes under paint and it will exactly tell you everything that's going to be painted in the project. You don't have to guess. And then you can go to that page, make your measurements. Okay, so now you can buy this. Now this is Caliber Collision. The one that I'm going to show you actually is actually for a Chuck E. Cheese paint estimate. Okay, so after we did all the takeoffs, okay, interior walls, exterior walls, some of the walls had like strips and where it takes a whole lot more labor and so in those cases we increased the man hour units and this is the time it takes per unit one unit square foot so we get that from our cost book 
That's how you know accurately based on construction industry standards how long it's going to take you to do a job. Then you can determine how many people you need. The construction schedule should tell you how many days they expect you to take to do the work. And then you can det- decide how many people you need to do the work in that amount of days. So when you are one of my students, one of my clients, I always help you with the technical stuff because you have to be technical. There's no more guessing. Either one, you're going to underbid or a GC is going to take advantage of you. Or you're going to overbid and you're not going to get the job. So, real simple. All right, painting estimates. So, like I said, we break up all the labor and then all of the material. And so, all the interior walls, da 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 da, wall trim by the linear foot, doors each, and door frames, linear foot. And then the material. Now, it says that we assume that uh, one gallon will paint 400 square feet. Okay, so that's how we determine how many, and this is gallons. So we know that everything's got to be primed, so we add up how many square foot in total, divide by 400, bam, how many primers. Same thing with the paint, all the way down. And then you're presented with a very detailed painting estimate. So make sure you sign up, subscribe, like, visit sfjohnsonconsulting.com. This is Stacy Johnson, and I hope to see you in a class very, very soon.